there was no noise about Manchester City's pursuit of River Plate's prodigious young striker, Julian Alvarez. When it became clear that his agent was travelling to Manchester this month, the propagators of what masquerades as transfer window news assumed that Old Trafford was the destination. Some brief amusement was then taken in a 2020 Argentinian radio interview Alvarez gave, in which he said he played for City on the FIFA video game. And then it was announced that he's signed for that club. It says everything about the way City's player acquisition system works that they'd been following Alvarez for some time. There's a reason why Texiki Begiristain, City's director of football starts his annual holiday on September 1st, the day after the summer window. And why, when it's over, he dedicates his every working hour to analysing the playing requirement, identifying three or four names for each in priority order, then going about securing them. That's why City, whose Abu Dhabi billions have always obviously helped, secure 22-year-old Alvarez, a striker they're comfortable about sending back on loan to River Plate until at least July. There's been the same kind of calm calculation about Liverpool, whose sporting director Michael Edwards had been tracking the Colombia and Porto winger Luis Diaz for years, signing a £37.5 million agreement with the Portuguese club side long before Tottenham, in their classic, frantic fashion, plunged into the fray late on with a £50 million bid. No chance. The concern for those who wish to see a more competitive Premier League, in which clubs other than City and Liverpool compete for the crown, is that no other top clubs seems remotely capable of operating with the same level of intelligence, professionalism and foresight. Tottenham's buying has been mindless since they reached the Champions League final, with random millions spent to mollify the latest manager. Take Brian Gill, the 20-year-old Spanish international defender signed only last summer for £21 million. He has not been given a single Premier League start and yet now returns to Spain on loan. Everton, who also once aspired to join the elite, were another one shooting in the dark on deadline day. There's a new army of support staff for Frank Lampard, cementing power and resource around the managerial seat, when what Everton really need is a director of football in the Beggary Stain and Edwards class.